Hello friends, it's Andrew here, Andrew with the Coffee Club, and I am walking around downtown Vernon with one of these selfie sticks trying to film myself doing a coffee club video. Last week I sent you guys out an email and I thought it might be fun just to do a quick video. And I'm downtown Vernon here at the future site of the Okanagan Print Triennial. Right now it just looks like a bunch of shipping containers. You can see them all in the back there. But in about two weeks time this is going to become home of an international art show and uh, we're going to be really exciting works here that are going to be kind of on display for three months and pretty neat little progressive idea for the city of Vernon to have shipping containers they're going to put drywall and lights in there and make it really nice and uh, I am going to be out here just over there uh, over there with a uh, pop-up coffee shop so I'll be out here with a coffee cart I got a full espresso machine and commercial setup and I'm going to be selling great, great coffee and brewed coffee and also one-of-a-kind pastries from Chef Lori Canoover. So that all starts March 20th. I thought I'd give you guys a visual and walk down here. But on to today's coffee. Today you are receiving at your door or in the mail in just a few days' time some coffee from Anchored Coffee. These guys are out of Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. It smells amazing. I just, just brought that up in my face. I had to give that a whiff. And uh, they are a really cool roaster out of Dartmouth. And uh, a guy named Zane there was involved with a caf cafe called If Two by C. And uh, branched out on his own eventually and started uh, Anchored Coffee. I love these labels, these bags are super cool. Got a little anchor on the bottom, all sorts of things like that. Really nice wrapping. Um, not that that really matters, but it's fun when you get it on your doorstep. And uh, today we're giving you a Rwanda coffee. You can kind of see the label there. I don't know if you can see it. And a Rwanda is a great coffee growing region. It's kind of got all the makings of a perfect coffee growing region. It's got the right elevation, right moisture, lots of heat and all that sort of stuff. And uh, generally speaking, an awesome, awesome coffee growing region. Sorry, there are lots of buses around here. Hopefully you can hear me at all, somewhat. And uh, the coffees that come out of Rwanda have a really great berry flavor often. Red apple, crisp, clean coffees uh, and uh, generally speaking they, they produce great quality there is occasionally something that happens in Rwanda called the potato defect and if you've ever had a potato defect coffee you will know it because when you grind it it just smells like McDonald's french fries and it doesn't taste great it kind of tastes bitter and not pleasant whatsoever uh, and it's just a little bit of a defect it's not bad for you and it just will happen here and there you'll be grinding some coffee and two or three beans out of your bunch have this potato defect on them and you'll be able to spot it it's pretty fun when you spot it because uh, it's it's a unique experience for sure I haven't noticed any potato defect in this one but maybe if you're lucky you'll get a few potato defected beans just to experience that uh, in Rwanda one of the unique things about Rwanda was um, it back uh, decades ago now the genocide pretty well wiped out any coffee industry that was growing going on there and a lot of the aid and rest restoration efforts focused on rebuilding the coffee growing community and lots of uh, governments came and pitched in um, and built new washing stations and improved uh, facilities that coffee growers had there, helped restore farms and it's become an even more bustling uh, coffee growing community in Rwanda. So pretty exciting place and pretty cool spot to get your coffee from. So I brewed my coffee at home just about 10 minutes ago. So it's uh, cooling down now, which is when I like to enjoy my coffee is when it's a little bit cooler. Things taste a little bit sweeter, a little bit brighter. Right right off the boil, right when you brew a coffee, it's often hard to taste some of those sweet flavors that a coffee might offer. So uh, this, is a, this is perfect temperature now for drinking. I'm drinking out of my barista mug from Portland, Oregon. I don't know if you can see it there. Anyways, we'll give it a go here. Let's see what it tastes like. I'm going to keep on walking because there are plenty of buses around and they are looking at me like I'm some sort of madman. All right, let's give it a try. Oh, it's really nice. Now that it's cooled, it's really, really sweet. Almost tastes like you're drinking some sort of fruit punch. The label says plum and it definitely has that plumness to it. It's got like a, a really nice red red fruitness to it. At, at first I, I noticed a lot more like a toasty caramel type of thing going on, almost like caramelized toast. I couldn't I can't describe it any other way, but that's kind of 
not there as much now as it's cooled quite a bit, but it's really, really nice. Clean coffee, leaves a nice uh, aftertaste in your tongue, no bitterness whatsoever. So, hey, you're gonna like that a lot. I think you'll really enjoy that. Well, that's uh, that's today's coffee. Remember to pass uh, the coffee club on to your friends, andrewcoffee.ca, delivering coffee twice a week, or twice a month, sorry, twice a week, only if you live at my house, because uh, I drink a lot of coffee. But uh, delivering coffee twice a month, door to door, or through your mailbox if you don't live in Vernon, where I've been shipping coffee to Quebec and LA, all over. So don't be afraid, if you uh, live out of town, you can certainly sign up for the coffee club. And uh, this is gonna be a fun experience as we kind of taste and enjoy coffees together. All right, we'll see you guys later.